Hey guys, welcome back to Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. And in this episode, we're checking out Gold Paw, which, uh, yeah, it is, uh, a very eastern looking place. I can't lie, I, I kind of dig it. Actually, I dig it a lot. And there's just cabbage lying on the ground. What's not a lot? <laughs> put up. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta apologize. A couple of people from across the pond from me have been very irritated with my, um, Inflection of specific characters, but you can't blame me. I live in the south like I, it, the only British things I listen to are stinking Peppa Pig I don't even watch Peppa Pig that much anymore. Oh, anyway What's up? Oh, hello. Welcome to Gold Paw, my sweet little soldier. I hope you have fun while you're here uh, I'll, I'll try miss. All right moving on. I'm surprised the cats and the dogs are getting along, but I guess they're past the There's a stinking ramen shop. Yo, what the heck? Tell me, have you ever tried famous peachy player punch? What? It's punch? Chunks of juicy peach floating in an ocean of creamy milk. Take a sip and surrender yourself to the simple taste of sweet, elegant. Y um. You're rolling, I'm sorry, we gotta take a little detour. Hook me up, man. Welcome. The sweet saffron tea, huh? Alright, yo, let's. Alright. Oh my gosh, they got a lot of food for sale. We don't have that money, though. It's a little bit on the, uh, pricey side, but slightly boosted critical hit damage. Oh, you know I'm getting that. Uh. Let's get to. You never know when they might come in handy. And, oh, lucky lobster. Whoa, that's really expensive. Seriously, boost melee attacks. All right. I should I should remember that that is an option. But yo, that, that's awesome, man. They have like people advertising and smell that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know necessarily how hunger works in this game, but I guess we should. Uh, oh, look at this dude's outfit. I do apologize, but we are replenishing our stock at the moment. I don't even know where you work, bro, but alright. And there's so many pe- there's so much stuff to see! What the heck- what's in here? Man? Oh, an armory! Okay, this is good. The Iron Orchid Outfitter. Let's definitely spend some money. Sorcerer- Oh, there's actually a lot of upgrades here. I definitely want to get something better for Tani because he- Crud, we might as well get like two of these actually. Yeah, um, what's that the biggest increase of? Well, pretty much her third weapon. She doesn't have anything, so that's an increase no matter what, but uh... Hmm, yeah, I'll get one more. I, I really want to use, like, the other characters, and I feel bad for always, like, not really doing that to the best effects. Well, that's not an upgrade for everybody, but... Oh. We have accessories, too. Cra do I have any accessories on me? Hold up. I do! Crap! Okay, increase water damage. That sounds pretty darn strong. So we have a ring, and we have a necklace. Do we have any necklaces? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Alright. Increase max HP. I actually want that for Tani, I think. Well, that's her skills, crap. Um, man, I, I, have I been picking these up the whole time? Man, I feel bad now, but uh, let's increase her max HP, and for Roland, let's increase his uh, yeah, defense. That sounds good. And usually, when an RPG vendor gives you fire resistance items, you probably want to pick up a few. So let's get like one of these, I guess, for hmm. Evan makes sense. Yeah, burn guard. All right, sweet. So we're done shopping and checking out these uh really really cool shops. Oh my gosh, I, I still can't. I know all I'm doing is honestly gushing about the aesthetics, but seriously, these are breathtaking. Like, actually, you know, it's strange how the trip door wasn't actually at the like front of the place. Yo, what the heck you want, bro? Are you a visitor here? If so, I advise you not to stay in our realm for too long. It's an absolute paradise, you see. Once you are used to life in Goldpaw, you'll never want to live anywhere else. That's really suspicious. Uh, all right then. Moving on. Is this an inn? Oh, it is. Arf, arf. <laughs> I forget their dogs, man. Would you like to stay at the inn? Uh, no, I think we're okay. We're only missing a little bit of HP, but uh, crud, we got we got to move on. Let's skedaddle and get to that stinking castle, yo. I also kind of want to save, but uh, it's not a big deal. Yeah. I need items though, crud. Man. I don't know if this is directly taking from, like, any specific Eastern culture, but this does remind me a lot of Little Tokyo. And a lot of, like, downtown, uh, Chicago, actually, in the Chinese area there. What's it called? I don't remember it's Little, Little... I don't remember. I'm dumb. I can never remember the names of things when they were appropriate for videos, and... Let me see. Your fate is terribly unstable. Troublesome stars is set to align in your future. You do not have believe what I tell you, of course, but... I've never been wrong yet. Uh, that makes me a little concerned. All right, well, wh whatever. We'll be okay, right? Come on. I mean, we got like, you know, a posse. A kingdom to... 
crud. I don't know. Realistically crud. I'd be like scared out of my mind, dude. Singing poor Evan, dude. Well, let's do sort of get our kingdom going, though. We'll have a little bit more of a... Uh, what the heck is this? Um, <laughs> crap. Gosh. I kind of want to go in... Oh, yeah, it's the casino. Oh, yeah, better steer clear of that for the time being. I'm sure we'll be there eventually, but... Oh, my God. So this is why the game took so long. Every single inch of this stinking plate. Like, do you see any, like, flat textures? Anything that doesn't look like they had a lot of time put into it? I don't know. Even, even that crap over there. There's just like different like, oh my gosh, the, the attention to detail is really impressive. That's all I gotta say, and what the crud is that? Um, I think this is about to be a boss fight. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, seems kind of cramped for a fight, actually. What's all the noise, I wonder? Uh, I don't know. It sounds like a festival of some sort. <laughs> this whole place is pretty much always having a festival. Oh, cr I'm sorry! Oh, leave! Ah, what the... What's up? You have come at the most auspicious time, friends. Today is the day in which Lady Lux Die decides the taxes for the month to come. What? Should she roll a one? We will pay no taxes at all. But that 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 is a really stupid way to run a country. Um, really none at all. That's kind of weird. Alas, for the last two months she's rolled sixes. Oh crap! <laughs> what happens then? Yeah, the taxes increased sixfold. Oh my god! What? You're, you're joking. How's anyone meant to afford that? Seriously, it is hard, young lady. But such are the vagaries of fortune. And without fortune, what is gold, Pa? Although I cannot say it, one would not be welcome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Taxation based on a dice roll. Isn't that a little irresponsible? Yeah, it's very irresponsible. It's taking like so- Like your whole economics are not being taken into account. It's our way, and besides, it's no fun to trust all to fortune. To place one's fate on a single throw of the die. No, it's your whole life. Like, come on. You gamble when you have access, not when your life depends on it. I don't know. Even our criminal trials are held in that way. Guilt or innocence are decided by the judgment of the die. What? Th that's- Yeah, risky! What the- this is so strange, but it kind of reminds me of, I don't know, a Ghibli film. It seems like something would happen. Indeed, but those blessed by fortune have nothing to fear. Cool, I guess. Ah, Master Pugnacious is here. The ceremony's beginning. All right, let's uh, see what they get, I guess. Hopefully it's a one. Lady of Fortune, may luck be on our side this month! This is bullcrap! What? Oh, he's a pug. His name's Pugnacious. Okay. That took me way too long to get... <laughs> anyway. The taxes for the month will increase sixfold! Tighten your belts and trust to Lady Luck! Fellow citizens of Goldpaw, all will be well! Uh, okay. Three sixes in a row. That is so... That is, like... That's such a low chance. What the... Anyway. It's pretty clear what's happening. I was certain our luck had turned. Ah, uh, well. All is as the mistress of fortune wills it. Yeah, what are you gonna do? If you don't like it, I guess you could just leave, but they don't want to do that either. So that was Master Pugnacious. Yeah. And if what the kids said was true, he's been rolling nothing but sixes these past three months. And that just benefits him, which is the gov government. What? Well, that's not right, is it? The whole thing must be rigged. How does no one, like, question this? Like, what? Uh, are they outsiders? <laughs> Well, not get far in making such accusations while at Puth, Gurley. The best go see the man himself. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. It's the bu building, right? The Grand High Rollers Hall. Alright. I like this, though. This is like, this is... Not necessarily... See, there's been no combat, but... I, I have this, like, giant sense of suspense. It's fun, and... Only those with business may enter. Uh, Niall sent us. 
We have urgent business with the Grand High Roller. Master Pugnacious is occupied. He will see no one. Uh, come on. It's important. No one. Arf. Mm. Oh crap, Roland's thinking of something. How about we play for a chance to see him? Put the decision in the hands of Mistress of Fortune. Uh, but we could lose. A game of dice? Yep. Yeah, why not? Very well. If you win, you will have your audience. If you lose, you will pay me. Uh, that's fine, I guess. I think we can accept those terms. Excellent. I will make ready. Gather together what money you would rager. And speak with me again. Uh, okay. Wait, so if we actually lose, do we have to pay? Like, cr oh, man. Um... Do we need to make preparations? I mean, I could scum and, like, save just to make sure we don't, but, you know what? Where's the fun in that? Let's actually roll and... Are you ready? The stakes will be 1,000 guilders. You may pay afterwards if you prefer, of course. Shall we begin? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Alright, here we go, y'all. You shall play a round of red and black. The game uses three dice. I will throw two of the dice. You'll confirm the numbers rolled. It will then decide whether the roll of the third die will bring the total, all three, to eleven or more. Or it will be less. Okay, so it's kind of like a coin toss? I don't... I think I'm understanding it right. If you believe it will be 11 or more, you call red. If less, black. Okay. However, when three ones are rolled, or three sixes, red and black will be turned on their heads. Okay. Crud. That's a lot I take in, but I, I can do this. By this, we mean that despite the total of three, or three ones, count as red, and despite the total of 18, or three sixes will be counted as black. Are you happy? You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. I might have to think on this for a bit, though, on which the best is to go, but it seemed fair enough. Slightly in our favor, if anything. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, mm. no. That's a fine set to dice there, mighty. They'll be worth a pretty penny, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> okay, yeah, if I to, come on, dog! <laughs> I mean, I can't go around saying dog when we're in Cold Pop, but you know what I mean. I will thank you to keep your filthy hands away from them. These are sacred items entrusted to only the highest ranking soldier servants of the realm. And also, I don't know. Wait. Can dogs tell if it's red or black? They're colorblind! Now let us begin. I'll start by rolling the first two dice. Alright. Oh, what did we get? We got... Seven. Crud, that's not good. Crap. No, we're fine. Um... Let me think about this. I'm pretty sure what we want to do here is we want to bet red. Because statistically, that would help us out and... Red? Very well. Then it is a four hires rolled. With the remaining die, you will win. Yeah, but chances are high that'll happen, because there's more sides of it, right? Let the final die decide! Hurrah! What? Bullcrap! No! The total is eight. Black is victorious. What? This is so rigged. I win. God, what? He lost. My condolences, young man. Might you consider playing another round? Uh, Certainly. I am a man of gold paw. Your debt will increase, of course. You are happy to proceed nonetheless? I... I don't know, dude. This seems like... Let's go for it. YOLO, dude. Let's do it. Why not? Hey. What are you doing, Evan? God dang it, you idiot! My son! <laughs> you can do a stress the beggar! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what are, what are we about to get ourselves into? Okay. I mean, yeah, it could be... Oh crud, maybe it's not rigged. Oh, two ones. You are lucky indeed. If you get another one though, we're screwed. But beware. Should a third one appear, red and black will be turned on their heads. Do you call red or black? Uh, I like this though. They made it very easy for like, I don't know. If someone's a little bit younger to understand the rules with the parentheses. Uh Statistically, it'd be in our best interest. I just hope we got a two or higher, so bet it on black. Very well. Then a two or higher is rolled, the remaining die will win. Alright, so legit. If it if this is a one, this is Oh my god! This is bull crap! I'm so mad right now. I win again. Yeah, shut up. God. 
got it. But you're getting the hang of it, laddie. That much is plain. Uh, we lost 2,000 guilders, bro. Have you had enough? Do you wish to continue? No, I, I, I'm done. God dang it. Wait, what? Wait, I thought that said I'm finished. What? Why are we still playing? No! Are you joking? Can we not leave the table? This is bull crap! Oh my god. Another six will turn them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's bet on black again? I don't know, dude! Crud! This I'm so irate. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a one. It's gonna this is the most rigged thing I've ever seen. Uh, he said, oof, god dang it. He almost had the cure. Not even close, dude. I'll do it this time. Oh, Seriously, on. Evan, are you a complete numbskull? Give up. I'm trying, lady. But, but. I'm doing so well. You're really not, bro. Three losses, how unfortunate. Now, if you will be so kind as to hand over 10 million gilder. What? Oh, god. Snakes alive. 10 million? Ye dog ye! Twas only a thousand a minute ago! Uh, I warned you, did I not? Twice, in fact. As you continue to lose, your debt grows. We didn't know it was by, like, multiplicative what? After each loss, it increases 100 fold. 1,000 rises to 100,000. 100,000 to 10 million. We are so dead. You, you mentioned the debt, but not the amount. I don't exactly call that an informed consent. Yeah, oh this my. is... <laughs> Evan's just like, that's a lot of guilders. I'll have to make a lemonade stand. <laughs> we don't have anywhere near that much. Very well. You seem trustworthy. I will allow you to delay the payment of your debt. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, cool. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, do not be alarmed. The creature will leave you when your debt is paid. No, we just we just have this IOU hanging near us. What are we going to do? We're no closer to meeting Master Pugnacious. Now we're ten million guilders in debt to that awful man. Yeah. But hey, no, do Bill. That's that's the funniest localization ever. Oh my god. Shut your stupid butt. <laughs> yeah, this place sucks. Oh, we're, we don't have the only one. Cool, half the flipping town must be in debt of all these birds or anything to go by. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this at all. So about that dice game. I couldn't help noticing something fishy about how the third die was moving. You know, spinning like a goddamn Beyblade. You spotted it too. I was thinking exactly the same thing. Hmm. Really? How did you not? Heaven's too naive, dude. Heh. <laughs> I was so lost in the game that it slipped me notice. I have to say. At least uh, half our party's paying attention, I guess. <laughs> Lofty's just checking out the place. Wouldn't surprise me if there were more to the die than meets the eye. Mm, the swab said that they were special dice. Only for bigwigs or such, did he not? Yeah, they must be rigged then, or magic or something. If we could get our hands on one, we might actually be able to find some proof that he was cheating. Hmm. Why don't we go take a look at the casino? With what money? The government runs it, right? So it's full of government employees. And dice. Huh. Motion seconded. Uh, um, third. <laughs> well, alright then. Seems we have a plan. Yeah, but our kids are laughing. I know, I know. Just relax. God, like, d how evil is that? Just a. I mean, come on, we're a little kid! Ugh, whatever. I mean, I guess it's a business, but still, it's screwed up. Not gonna lie, though, their little, like, fortune goddess thing is pretty neat. But seriously, like, where do we go from here? Like, what do we even. I don't even know what I would do. This is specifically why I don't gamble. Not even in role playing games most of the time, unless I, like, have to, like, to 100% like Super Mario RPG, but uh, that's just me. I mean, if you got the money and you like the thrill and you do it like, you know, responsibly, I don't think there's anything horribly wrong with it. Only if you have excess, you know. My humblest apologies, sir. Uh, 
the house kindly asks that those who are ahem, troubled by debt refrain from playing. Oh, yeah. I see, of course. That's honestly better though. Roland, you play dice! Like, come on, you probably know more about this. He's with me. I won't play any of the games. I'll just be watching. Is that alright with you? Mm. Can't tell if it's a dude or a girl. By all means. We hope that you enjoy your visit. Okay, cool. Um, let's get to get- Man, this reminds me a lot of, uh, another casino I've frequented in all right. another PS4 game. <laughs> We're in. Yeah. Oh dang, this place looks cool too. Man, this whole game- There's no- I don't think there's a single, like, dog that looked... Like, the same. I don't think- I think every model might be unique. I don't know, dude. It- This game's beautiful. So this is the inside of a casino, looks like. Well, we'll draw less attention if we split up. Let's spread out and see what we can see. Yeah. Uh, this seems like a reasonable game plan. And, oh snap, leaf book updated. No one never actually looked at Leaf Book. Let's let's do that now. Why the oh, what the crap? Okay, I guess um, <laughs> sweet. So it's like, it's li it's literally Facebook. Oh my gosh, or Twitter or whatever. It's it's kind of cool. You can get some extra info. Oh my god, this must have been a nightmare to localize all this text. Holy crud! And <laughs> what is this? I stole Evan's Leaf Book and took a picture of Botsy without him noticing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all blurry and everything, oh my gosh. And every time we see like a really cool monster, I guess, it uh, shows us a picture. <laughs> He's updating, I LOST TO A WEALTH GOD! Oh my gosh. This is fun to check out, crud. I, I, I regret not checking this out sooner, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll worry about that a bit later. The thing is, if Roland's supposed to be doing the gambling, what the crud am I doing here? Um, hello, what's up? Oh dear, are you lost? I'm afraid that this is not the place for little boys. We are looking for the mum- Who are looking for their mummies? Oh, okay. They're trying to say mummies like in Kingdom Hearts. This is the prize exchange court. Oh. Hey, you know, I, I- what you got? I just want to see, you know? You would like to talk to me? Oh, how adorable. Such a shame I have so little to say to children. Uh, uh, God dang it. Screw this place. Alright, whatever. Um, we're all gonna go talk to the lady for me, see if she likes me. We have places like this back home, too. I guess some things are the same no matter where you go, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Crud. Must be kind of funny for- Oh. What's up with you? You don't look so good. You wish to know more about the dice used at the casino? I can quite understand why you would. I suppose you've been wondering at the admiring glances bestowed upon the bearers of those auspicious items, yes. Alas, they only are granted to select servants of the realm. You will not find them on sale anywhere, I'm afraid. Not even I, a citizen of this great nation, will be able to obtain one. I would give up any dream of owning one, if I were you. Nah, crap. Well, I mean, if they're that rare, they gotta be rigged, dude. Like, it's plain as day. Also, this shit... She looks like the main character, but... <laughs> the thing I like about the, like, character design in this game, people just look like they're doing their own, like, adventuring. I think that's cool. And Bad luck. Those who are in debt are not allowed to gamble at this casino. You and your new pet will have to find some other way of having fun. Crap. Um, man, we're ready to rub it in my face, lady. God dang. So what's this objective over here? Oh, I gotta talk to this dude. <laughs> I love dogs so much. What's up, man? So I come for visitors to our kingdom to loudly decree the casino is a den of trickery. <laughs> this is a ridiculous assertion. Do they not understand that it is owned and operated by the state? Surely they do not think the powers that be intervene to ensure that the dice always fall in their favor. Such behavior would be an afford to Lady Luck, our holiest of holy. If you ask me, sounds like soul losers. Hmm, I mean, I see your reasoning, but come on, like... Ugh, whatever. I'm just like, actually frustrated about it, but like, legit. Some people are winning here, right? What's the most remarkable quality of the casino, you ask? I suppose it's the croupiers more than anything. They are all but impossible to outplay. Hmm. No matter how good one's hand may seem, they always seem to find a way to turn the tables. They must be blessed with inexhaustible reserves of good fortune. What? If I too pay regular obedience to Lady Luck, the tide of fate will surely turn in my favor eventually. You don't say. That should do it for now. Hmm. I hope the others manage to find some helpful clues as well. I'm pretty sure they found the same crap as us, Evan, but you know. 
Hey, we gotta make some progress, right? Well, now. What do you know? The dice they use in here are the same as the ones our friend, the gatekeeper, had. That proves it then, right? Seems they really are a little fishy. What'd you find, Bob? Oh my! No! I, I be the proof of that, lad. <laughs> this place is as crooked as a weaver's grin. <laughs> Mommy! God dang it. No! Oh, God. Oh, come on! You, you didn't, did you? Oh, you you big Wally! <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Stand by and watch while there's a fun to be had. I date my way, girl. <laughs> okay. Be a little more responsible, girl. And how much did you lose exactly? If you'll excuse me, little pry. Uh, well, near pennies, little fella. Near pennies. <laughs> uh. <sighs> right. Well, let's forget about our friend, the genius, here for a moment, shall we? Gosh, they're so they're so mean to each other. There's something I want to show you. I can't do it here though. Shall we take this somewhere a little quieter? Uh, sure. Okay. How about the lobby at the end? That sounds good to me. Um Leave it to Tani, dude. We didn't find Jack crap, but like she was like, nope, I found it. Whatever it is. I'm kinda curious, what can she not show us here? Got no clue. And I still, like, I've been focusing this whole episode, is this, like, Chinese or Japanese? I, c I still can't tell, because these, like, things, they're both, because they're based on the same stinking mythological figure, kinda. Well, it's not like a figure, it's just like a monster, but, or like an animal, but, whatever. Let's, uh, get it in the inn, I guess. Welcome, Darius, welcome. Um, would it be possible to borrow the lobby for a moment or two? Yes. By all means, my lovely, by all means, take all the time you need. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Why am I making everyone sound so, like, evil? So, Tani, what was it you wanted to show us? <clears throat> Your favorite little scallywag. Only went and swiped herself a <gasps> What? Really? What the cr- Dang, I guess she is good. You mean you stole one? Puh, stole, borrow. Well, it helps you sleep at night. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> Anyway, I've got something very interesting to show you. Watch this. If I press the one, we get a one. And if I press the five, a five. <laughs> now two. Beginner's luck. Oh, oh she well. back us. Gosh. So that's it. I am irate. Mostly because I also thought I was just accidentally playing the game more. I, I first time I lost, I would have pieced out. Anyway, this is how they've been doing it, huh? A scurvy mutton block in our path. It's a pugnacious. Had the self same dice, so he did. Yeah, we we were all, we were all there, Batu. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and tell him his secret is out. Mm, no, that probably won't even help. I'll just deny it. Besides, it's better that he doesn't know. We have it for now. So no one's ever stolen the dice here. Like, really? Like, I, I mean, it's a tiny thing. It's easy to misplace, but anyway. I see where you're going. Very crafty. I likes it. <laughs> but yeah, 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 what's yeah. our game plan now? So, like, yeah, yeah. Here, and then, <laughs> and then, woo, and then. What are you? You're not saying words, Lofty. You're just making fart noises. Oh, oh yeah. And, and Bob's your uncle anyway, so. <laughs> Well, best plan in the flippin' world, right? <laughs> uh, what of it we understood? Will it really work? Uh, you know, it's a little risky. But I think it just might. Crud. Then it's decided then. Leave it to your pal Lofty! Let's go and pay Gary Gateface a visit, shall we? Was that actually his name? I'ma feel pretty bad if it was, but uh... Yeah, man, let's go get our rematch, dude. I'm pumped. All right, we're back with even more debt. Uh, not because of you, though. Have you come to repay your debt? You owe me. Uh, not you exactly. Owe me. Well, kind of. No, I've come to play another round. Very well. As you wish, but know that should you lose for a fourth time, your debt will grow still further. Yeah, I don't care. Make it a hundred million. We can't lose if we're the one rolling. I'm not losing this time. Yeah. We're What's our plan to be, be counting on you? Lofty, help us out, dog. I don't know, man. I'm scared. He's in his battle phase, though. Oh, we got him, man. 
So, which will it be? Um, red. <laughs> Time to put our little plan into action. Let us begin. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love this game. What deception is this? You manipulated the dice. You must have. What are you talking about? I thought it was a totally fair game. How would we have done that exactly? It's yours, and you rolled it. Hmm. Or are you saying you had some nasty little trick up your sleeve, and it didn't work? Oh, man. Ridiculous. <laughs> little trick. No. You have no proof. How dare you! Uh, hmm? What is all this noise? Uh, is it Pug- It is! Hello there- What the- Who the heck is that? Master Pugnacious. Eh, well, well. What exactly is going on here? You know better than to cause a scene so close to his eminence, private chambers. Uh, hello, hey, fancy meeting you here. Master Pugnacious, how glad I am to meet you at last. We were sent here on an urgent business by Niall. Mm. Yeah. But your stupid gatekeeper here tricked us into owing him a fortune, and he still won't let us in. Huh. This is how Goldpaw treats its guests. Oh, crud, dude. <laughs> Getting this guy in serious trouble talking to the boss. For forgive my foolish underling. If my good friend Niall sent you, it can be no trifling matter. That much should have been plain. You meant to resort to base deceit. An unforgivable transgression. Your debts will be annulled, of course. Yo, sick. Alright, that takes care of that. <laughs> Get a stupid bird off me, god. Oh, both of them, heck yeah. <laughs> nice. How can you do that? Do they just, they just t t teleport it? Uh, I'm concerned for the birds, is that weird? But this is no place to talk. We will continue inside. This one. Throw him in jail! Wha yes, master. Of course, Master Pugnacious. What the cr- Man, he risked it all and just- Oh my god, that's horrible, man. Jeez, but... Hey, we're in, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh... Crud. That was, uh... An interesting look at the world of... Their just nation of Goldpaw, I guess. Next time, we're gonna talk to Pugnacious and hopefully find out what the crud is going on here. So we can get Niles Trees back, build our kingdom, and rule the goddamn world. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Holy crud. I really liked this episode. I don't know about you, despite there not being a single fight. But anyway, see you guys next time with more Nino Kuni 2 Remnant Kingdom. Bye.